but I know that there is several other success stories in this room. Barbara, will you please stand? Alexa, will you please stand? Tracy is here. And I think there's someone else in here that was also just as involved. Would you, if there is, would you, some, would you please stand? and their success stories in this room. Stories need to be told because we are out here. Y'all wouldn't have known it, would y'all? Mm -mm. I, um, I went, did the majority of my time at a Lockhart facility. MTC training facility, which is now the Coleman unit. I walk through those doors and become a, a dog trainer. <laughs> I am a um, service animal dog trainer for PTSD veterans. I become a lead peer educator. Peer-to-peer -peer support is amazing um, because if you haven't walked that walk, you can't talk that talk. Um, I got to I got to earn a wage in prison. You don't hear that happening. I work for Henderson Controls, which makes uh, commercial air conditioner parts for train carrier. I was a specialty parts fabricator and a QA quality assurance tech. Hmm. I did that for about three years. Then ACC walked through the door, and I went through a five-month log certified protection tech, production tech class. Got my certification, MSSC certification, manufacturing skill, the uh, standard skills council, yeah. Um, and then I got my job with ACC. Because Mr. Tracy seen that I was able to use my support system while I was in prison, help ladies find housing and stuff while I was still in there. And it was just something I did. I never thought about it. You know, it was just me. And he said, hey, we need that. And I left, got out, went home. Home is the panhandle of Oklahoma. I'm a country girl. I'd never lived in a town, let alone a city. I left, wasn't going to come back. I knew it, even though I told him I was coming back. I wasn't coming back. God said, oh, yes, you are. He made things really hard on a great big ranch that I was comfortable at. I wasn't comfortable no more at home. And I come back to Austin. Went to work at Austin Community College. And I've never been so happy in my entire life to be able to walk back in that prison. Yeah, I walk back in there in street clothes. Thought I'd never do that again. Um, but just to see the smile on their face, for me to be able to say, hey, I have you a, a interview, or I have you a good place to go, or I have your um, work in Texas profile set up, so maybe it's a little bit easier for you to find an employer that will hire you when you get out there. Or this is the address where you need to go get your food stamps. This is where you can go for clothes. Housing is a whole nother monster. That's my next. You know, this was a big thing for me to get all of these employers in here that want to give us a second chance. But you don't know what it means to us. It means a lot. It means more than anybody can ever imagine, unless you've walked in my shoes. And I'm just one story. This ain't about me. 
This is about humanity. And this is about treating your sisters like a human. Looking at them and thinking, hey, you know, I got skeletons in my closet too. She got caught. I didn't. What would have happened if it would have been me? How would I like to be treated? Hmm. You know, when they asked me to do this, I didn't think I'd be nervous. Oh yeah, I'll do it. I didn't think I'd be nervous. Because you see, I've had a camera in my face since the day I walked out. And I mean literally since the day I walked out. They filmed my release, ACC. My first meal, they said, what do you want to eat? I said, oh, a steak. Hadn't had beef in five years. No real meat. Now once in a while you get chicken. Maybe some soy, you know. A lot of beans and cabbage, huh? Um, and I won't ever eat another pancake. Um, so they took me to this restaurant in Gatesville, Texas. <laughs> Steakhouse, and I walk in and there's these cameras following me and everybody's looking at me like, who's this? Just some podunk girl from Oklahoma that just got out of prison. I'm not ashamed of those felonies. I'm not proud of them. But I damn sure am ashamed of them. Because I wouldn't be right here. I wouldn't be this woman that's talking to you. I would still be in that violent, horrible shell of a body that I was just existing in. Because I had died. And God saved me. And ACC, and those girls that I help nowadays, gave me a reason to survive. A reason to get up every day and push forward. Because that's what I do. Because I have a family to prove to that I am not just that person I was before. Damn sure ain't gonna let it define me, I'll tell you that. Any questions? I got three minutes left. <laughs> Any questions? Please ask. Want to know what it's like? I'll tell you. I got told not to get someone in trouble today. But I'll tell you what it's like if you really want to know. But I promise you we'll work harder. Because 99.9% .9 of us had that part change in there. And we don't ever want to come back. And that job will keep us from going back. Because most of us just want to have a hustle to survive. And if we can't make a living to pay for what our kids need, we're going to hustle and we're going to go back. Because that's what